see as I zoom in, this is a SK4 stamped right there. SK4 Z, Zero ZP. It's a steel carburetor. Well, Zama's the brand, but it's off a of steel FS106 trimmer. It's about 26 years old. Here we have the steel rebuild kit. This is a kit for the SK5, but mine is SK4. But this is what they sold me and it works. This is the needle. I was showing the, the tip of silver on the new one. The old one, when I took it out, the tip was um, red. It's a neoprene tip, by the way. Here's the parts diagram. Make sure you look at that carefully when you reassemble to get the diaphragms in the correct location. On the bottom, the pump diaphragm goes right against the carburetor body and then the gasket and then the cover plate. On the top, it is the, the gasket goes against the carburetor body and then the metering diaphragm, then the lid. Here's the parts numbers. And you can see right there at the top, it says carburetor SK5. So this is a parts kit, rebuild kit for a SK5 carburetor. But that's what they said shows for my SK4 carburetor. Shows what to use to use that one instead of the SK4. This is showing the removing the pump diaphragm. You can tell it's a little different color, a little different material than the replacement part. And that's the pump diaphragm gasket. It goes against the lid and the pump diaphragm goes against the carburetor body. This shows the screen. They call it strainer on the parts list. I had to poke a hole in it to remove it. There you can see it's gone. There you can see I have the hole. But that's okay. We, we have a new one to replace it with. So that's why I poked a hole in it to get it out. There's the metering diaphragm. Lots of little debris that came through that little hole that's in the lid. That's the way it was designed. The metering diaphragm goes right against the, the cover and then the gasket goes between the metering diaphragm and the carburetor body. It's the opposite of the pump diaphragm side. Here shows the welch plug or cap plugs, cut plugs, and they have some lacquer buildup on them. That's why they're yellow. That's the little list showing that they do not, nothing, everything is below the carburetor body when you look across it. That's the needle underneath the little list.
and the spring is on that end. Again, you see that nothing sticks up above the surface after it's reassembled. You'll need to check that. Removing your little screw that holds in the needle assembly. Make sure you have a screwdriver that fits properly. You don't want to strip this screw out. Take the little lift, lift lever. And the spring. That shows the needle. Here I'm taking out the old needle and you can see it has a red neoprene tip. The new one has a sil silver covering over that. But they're both a neoprene material. Feeling it to see if it's soft or stiff. Trying to determine its age. Here I've, I've soaked it a little while uh, like just a few minutes in carburetor cleaner outside. You see it turned that lacquer to jelly and then I dipped a toothbrush in carb cleaner and cleaned it on up. Here I'm inserting the new strainer, little screen, using the end of a drill bit to place it. Here we're putting in the new needle and the inlet control lever, and there's a spring that you have to get just right. Now I've tightened the screw up. Testing the little spring. Make sure the needle lifts with it. And look across the top, eyeball it, make sure nothing is extending above the carburetor body. There wasn't, so that's good. Now we're putting in the gasket first for the metering diaphragm. It goes the carburetor body, then the gasket, then the metering diaphragm. You must have it in the correct order. For the other side, the pump diaphragm, it's just the opposite. So now here's the metering diaphragm. Make sure you put it on where just the little round metal thing is, is up. Now the cover. Making sure everything's lined up, showing the little contours. how everything fits together nicely. Put the screws back in it. I didn't use Loctite. I don't guess I should. That's the little hole I just pointed at that's in the cover. Now it's the pump diaphragm. It goes right on against the carburetor body. Then the gasket and then the cover. That's the opposite order than what's on the metering diaphragm. Here we've got the diagram to illustrate.
Here's the carburetor body, the pump diaphragm, then the gasket, then the cover plate. Just showing a little contour to look for. Putting the screw back. That's the Zama SK4 carburetor with a SK-5 kit. Right there you can see the, the markings on it. SK-4-0-ZP. Thank you for watching.